graduate school can really be what you want it to be, um, but there's also so many opportunities to go beyond what you kind of would expect graduate school to only be, which is just doing basic science research. So I work in Meta Keen's lab, and in the Keen lab we study extracellular membrane vesicles that are secreted by bacteria. These vesicles are just tiny nanoparticles that are constantly being produced by the bacteria from the cell membrane. And they're super interesting and important for us to study because they can mediate the communication between bacteria and host cells. They carry a variety of different proteins, lipids, toxins, metabolites, RNA, and DNA. My project has really focused on the RNA and DNA content of vesicles that are produced by Staph aureus. This is an important human pathogen and, and we're really trying to understand how RNA and DNA can be secreted in association with the vesicles and the delivery of those RNA and DNA molecules into host um, cells. Um, currently we have a paper that has described our major findings so far. It's currently under review in uh, scientific reports, but it's actually already been published in a, a preprint journal called BioArchive. So working towards a dissertation really starts soon after joining your lab. Your second year, you select your committee and you start to prepare for the pre-prelim, which is an opportunity to present your work and your ideas to your committee. Shortly after your third year, you actually do the prelim, which is an intense experience, but it allows you to present your dissertation proposal to your committee. Um, they ask you a variety of different questions related to it, and if they feel that you have presented it and that you've thought through everything, then you pass, and at that point you become a PhD candidate. And last year I went to the Gordon Conference for Microbial Adhesion and Signal Transduction, and that was an amazing opportunity because that's one of the conferences that's a little bit smaller, but it's a little bit more focused, so you get to talk about your science with experts in your field. And I was able to present my work orally to a group of early career researchers and trainees. Um, and so that gave me some really amazing um, connections uh, with people that study bacteria and signaling. And so I've had the opportunity to present my work in written forms, in oral forms, posters. Um, and I think that overall that's really contributed to my development as a scientist and just basically as a professional in this field.